I think, you know, uh, what we've seen in the beginning of the year, um, this was like a fulminant start into the year that for me was not really backed by fundamentals. And I think now, you know, the market is somehow getting more realistic about it. And um, as, you know, more data is coming in, um, I think, you know, we will see more corrections and then markets will be more positive again and more negative. Uh, but overall, I think we can expect more volatility going forward. We've seen a lot of repositioning in recent uh, weeks around the banking crisis. So investors piling back into some of the big technology names and are looking for some safe harbours in the market. What concerns do you have about the, the reallocation we've seen in recent weeks? Well, I think, you know, um, the great concern could be um, that, you know, investors actually, because they are panicking in a way, they're actually creating a real problem where, you know, we, we wouldn't have to see a real problem. I think, generally speaking, the financial system today is probably more resilient, you know, than, than we've seen it like in 2007, 2008. At least, you know, when we look at the large banks, maybe Credit Suisse is somewhat uh, an exception to that. Um, but clearly, you know, the speed at which things happened also to Credit Suisse, but also SVB, um, this was triggered, you know, by investors panicking. And I think, you know, that's something that that we really sort of need to avoid now and which, you know, kind of central banks and, and governments and so on really try also to um, to sort of, uh, you know, act counter these kind of behaviors and, and kind of, you know, provide um, uh, provide reassurance to investors that they don't need to panic because this could, you know, kind of turn everything upside down um, and probably for for not a really good reason. So let's talk about um, Europe then, because I hear what you're saying, and, and you sound as though uh, you're, you're, you're getting more and more bearish here as you watch the macro data. The problem is here, we, we're sitting here with a, a, a bounce this morning in European equity markets at an index level. If you look at the DAX, we're not far away from all time highs here. It, it, it's fairly similar if you look at the CAC and the FTSE. It's a pretty hard market to walk away from. Why or how should our investors who are still in the market be insulating themselves against the, the kind of downside that you're talking about? Well, first of all, you know, if you look into the um, very positive numbers for equity markets here to date, what you will notice is, is that it's on the back of very, very few companies, actually, and concentrated just in very few sectors. So everything was about um, IT, communication, and consumer discretionary, but consumer discretionary being a lot, you know, kind of internet shopping, you know, Amazon type of companies. And so everything else wasn't that positive, actually, and uh, so didn't progress that much in terms of prices or, or was even sort of, you know, losing um, in terms of performance. And so, you know, we've seen a positive market, yes, but it was very concentrated of very particular types of, of risks, and these risks are already extremely present. Um, in our equity markets today. And so what I think is this is not really representative, you know, for the broader economy or for something which you could call it like a market premium. Um, and as soon as investors realize this and realize that maybe, you know, the extreme um, expectations that they have, you know, for these types of companies are potentially not in line anymore with what we can expect in terms of consumption behavior, in terms of, you know, economic growth um, because of inflation, you know, because of, uh, wage pressure and so on and so forth, um, you know, as soon as this is the case, you know, those valuations have to correct and then they will over strongly correct actually because th there are such a high weight and such a high con uh, concentration in these particular types of companies.